Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is HN Annotated. We discussed Hell as a concept in the world of Doom, but now I think it's time to start discussing some of the unique creatures you can meet down there while you rip and tear your way through the various Doom games. This time we're going to talk about the Hell Knight and its various reincarnations. The Hell Knight was introduced in Doom 2 as a toned down version of the Baron of Hell, which itself was one of the most powerful single enemies in the original game. Like the Barons, the Knights originally appeared as giant muscular goat-headed creatures with large humanoid ripped torsos and brown minotaur-like hooves that somewhat resemble pants. However, unlike the Barons, the Knight's skin is tan and not bright pink, which makes sense considering the original Hell Knight was a palette swap. The other key difference is that the Knight has about half as much health, so they're easier to kill and are much more like mid-level enemies. The trade-off is that they appear in larger numbers, because Doom hates you. In Doom 2's manual, they're described as, Tough as a dump truck and nearly as big, these Goliathes are the worst things on two legs since Tyrannosaurus Rex. Unsurprisingly, this is also the description of the Baron of Hell in the original Doom manual. Like the Baron, the Knights also let out a battle cry before they're attacked, but they're much louder and higher pitched. They attack by scratching when close and throwing green fireballs when at a distance. While the Hell Knight can't take quite as much damage as the Baron, it still takes a decent amount to take it down. When averaged out, the Knight can take up to 3 rockets, 23 energy cell shots, 50 regular bullets, a 6 second run with a chainsaw, 8 shotgun blasts provided you hit it in the sweet spot, or just 3 super shotgun blasts at close range. When you manage to kill it, it lets out a powerful roar before bleeding out and eventually falling down. It was a common rumor that the knight yelled coward at you in a distorted voice, but it was later revealed to be a stock cougar sound from a media library. Though maybe the cougar was calling the person recording it a coward, who knows. Those are just the Hell Knights from the original game though. In Doom 3, we got a very different version of the creature. This time, the Hell Knight is roughly 10 feet tall, so actually a bit shorter than the original, and instead of resembling a mythological creature like a minotaur or a satyr, it now appears as a deformed, muscular, off-white creature with no nose. Its eyes are barely visible, and its ears appear to be fused to the side of its head. In Doom 3, the Hell Knight is the largest non-boss enemy. Overall, this version of the creature looks like a Cenobite from Hellraiser crossed with a skeleton and a werewolf. There are actually two variants of the knight in the game. The main one, which appears on Mars, is the same off-white color from head to toe, but the version that appears in Hell is a more grayish-green color with random parts of it, like its hands and chest, being colored red, to simulate it being covered in blood. In this version, the Hell Knight is more of a direct stand-in for the Baron, even calling back to the first appearance of the Baron in its introduction cutscene, when it arrives from a portal and kills a guy by throwing him into machinery, then a second one comes out and the two head towards the Marine, like the Barons did originally in the first game. Like the original creature, this version also attacks from a distance with fireballs and at close range with its claws, but it now takes much more damage to take down. You need to hit it with at least 6 rockets to take it down, and if you're using a machine gun, it takes over 100 rounds, which is about 2 full magazines. And if you're using the chain or pulse guns, it takes about 1 full magazine. This version of the thing is a major damage sponge now, which is another reason why it's more like the new Baron. During the course of the game, you can gain research notes on the Hell Knights, and its entry reads, Specimen 31, Hell Knight, Partial. The cranial mass of this bipedal specimen indicates that it's one of the largest creatures inhabiting the site. Overpowering its prey with sheer might, the Hell Knight is one of the most ferocious predators known to our researchers. Like the imp, the creature also defends itself at close range by throwing plasma projectiles. Finally, we have the version from the 2016 game, which for the most part keeps its look from Doom 3, though with a few tweaks. It now has more of an exposed skull, its skin is more flesh-colored as opposed to the skeletal white it was before, and it's a bit less bulky when it comes to its arms. This version also won't bother shooting fireballs at you, it just wants to kill you with its bare hands. It now can produce shockwaves by pounding the ground and has added an uppercut to its repertoire. They're also much faster than the previous two versions, which makes sense considering the relative lack of range. The plus side, though, is that they're much easier to take down than the last version. 
It now takes about three super shotgun blasts to take it down like the original. Like before, the game provides its own description of the creature. This one saying, The Hell Knight is a towering brute built for combat deep in the bowels of hell. These diabolical beasts are prized gladiators of the demon horde. They relentlessly stomp towards their target, smashing their massive fists into the ground to create shockwaves that stagger their opponent and leave them vulnerable to bone-crushing melee attacks. The Hell Knight's powerful legs allow it to leap across large distances effortlessly, quickly closing the gap on its enemies. Since Doom 2, the Hell Knight has been a staple of the series, and despite changes, it appears to have a lasting power to stick around. I mean, until the Doom Marine comes into town to ruin its day. But let us know what you guys think. What's your favorite version of the Hell Knight? And what other creatures would you like to know about from the Doom series? Well, as always, let us know down in the comments. But until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out.